Let me ask, this raises a lot of civil liberties concerns. So let me ask you, how many Muslims are in America? I, I don't know the number off the top of my head. So you're saying that law enforcement should surveil a number of Muslims and you don't even know how many Muslims are in America. What I'm saying... There say are three million Muslims in America. No. Law enforcement is overwhelmed. So you're saying we can't I'm, defeat radicals We have a chief of police, one of the most respected chiefs of police, who was here earlier, who said there are no Muslim neighborhoods. Yeah. It's not like Europe. It doesn't yeah. exist that way. It's, yeah. it's impractical what you're suggesting. Also, it doesn't suggest it would lead to anything. It's more of a political point that you're making. Uh, Nora, a a actually, you, you brought up Europe and it's a good example. Mm -hmm. If you look at the attack in Brussels, it's a direct result of the failed immigration policies in Europe that have allowed vast numbers of radical Islamic terrorists to come to Europe. And they've been ghettoized in neighborhoods that have become isolated, that have been, become separate, and they become incubators for that's radical not, Islamic terrorists. That's not terrorism. a similar problem that we have here in the United uh, States. Uh, of course it is. There, there are communities in America. Name one community, one city, where we have a, uh, a you, large you, group of radicalized Muslims. You, you have communities. You have communities, for example, in Minnesota. You have communities in Michigan with, with heavy concentration. And you, ha you have incidences of radical imams preaching jihadism. Preaching Islamism. But, now, but Isla how, about, Islamism? how, about, this, how about this point of view? There are so many people that say that your comments are decidedly mm -hmm. anti-Muslim, and that you're playing right into the hands of ISIS. That they're gi you're giving them ammunition mm -hmm. to come out to come after us, to to really take action against us. That you're you're just teeing it up for people to come after us. Gail, with all respect, people are fed up with the political correctness of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton where following the Paris attacks, following San Bernardino, and no doubt following uh, Brussels, President Obama goes on TV. He will not say radical Islamic terrorism. Instead, he lectures Americans on his Enough is enough. Islamism is a political and theocratic philosophy that commands its adherents to wage violent jihad to murder infidels, which they define as everybody else. But you're painting one community with one brush. That's no, the no I'm not. There's a difference between Islam and Islamism. Islamism commands that you either murder the infidels or you forcibly convert them, you wage jihad. And, and here's the consequence of President Obama and Hillary Clinton and, and Bill de Blasio refusing to acknowledge what we're fighting. You end up with policies that don't keep us safe. So for example, President Obama and Hillary Clinton both still support bringing tens of thousands of Syrian Muslim refugees to America. That is despite the fact that ISIS has said they intend to infiltrate those refugees with jihadists that are here to murder us. And despite the fact that the head of the FBI, James Comey, who was appointed by Barack mm -hmm. Obama, said they cannot vet those refugees to make sure they're not ISIS terrorists. Mm -hmm. The first obligation of the president as commander in chief should be to keep America safe. And I'll tell you this, I will apologize to nobody for how vigorous I will be as president fighting radical Islamic terrorism, defeating ISIS, and keeping America safe. On the question